you're in line to play your 50th game this week, Lockie. Um, how's your first 50 been experience in the AFL? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Uh, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that Fremantle have given me, um, drafting me back in 2011. Um, and I've been very lucky to have played as many games as I have in such a great side. So um, not much of a milestone 50. I think it's um, a small step along the way, but hopefully many more to come. And you had a good game against West Coast in the Derby, picking up second Ross Glendinning medal. Um, how does that set you up against sort of Sydney, you know, a, a bit of a stronger midfield? Um, what's that going to be like? Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a massive challenge for our midfield this week. Um, they've got great mids, Kennedy, Parker, uh, Bird, McGlynn, all those guys, Kieran Jack, Dan Hanbury. So it's going to be a fierce battle win there. And I suppose they uh, sort of play a similar style to us in the midfield, crash and bash and really strong bodies and got a few outside players that can hurt us. So we're going to have to be right on from the start and... Um, Hopefully we can bring that effort and energy that we did last week. And after your performance the first three games this year, you've had a bit of talk about yourself and Dermot Brereton's among those to, to give you a lot of praise. How does it sit with you? Oh, I think Dermot's comments were a bit off. I'm sure there's uh, a lot of inside mids around the comp that have something to say um, about what he said, but um, I think it's a product of what my teammates have been able to do as well. So Nathan Fife, Dave Mundy, Mick Barlow. Stephen Hill, all those guys have played really important roles for us and um, a couple of times I've been lucky enough to get a couple of kicks so um, I think it's more of a team effort and um, I suppose from the way we've been playing um, we've been getting praises in the media but we want to write our own story and build that again this week. You've got the Len Hall game this weekend, what's it like standing out in the middle, you know, dead silence before a game, it's a bit different build up to a normal game? Yeah it is, it's um, a special feeling and yeah, you do get goosebumps and um, you sort of sit back and take it all in for the minute there and um, it is really special to have 40,000 people um, all silent for that one minute and um, gets you ready to go for the, for the match.